A person slaps her leg with her hand, bringing her hand to rest in 2.5 milliseconds. So we have change in time is 2.5 milliseconds. From an initial speed of 4 meters per second. We also can pull from this that the final speed, the final velocity, is going to be 0 because her hand is at rest. And we want to find the average force that's exerted on her leg, assuming that the mass of the hand and forearm are 1.5 kilograms. So this is going to be uh, an impulse problem. I know this because it is asking me to find force. I have a change in time. I have mass. I have velocities. So impulse is force times the change in time is going to equal our change in momentum. And recall that momentum is mass times velocity. So part A of this problem wants me to find force. I'm going to put that in a box so I don't forget. So I have force times my change in time is going to equal my change in momentum. I can expand out this change in momentum. So that would be mass times the final velocity minus mass times the initial velocity. Since my final velocity is zero, I'm going to get rid of this. This means that force times the change in time is going to equal negative mass times my initial velocity. I'm now going to move over my change in time. So this will give me that the negative mass divided by my change in time multiplied times my initial velocity. And the average force is going to be 1.5 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. And my initial velocity was 4 meters per second. So the, uh, the average force in this situation is going to be negative 2400 newtons. It's negative because we, uh, we brought the object to rest. It then asks us in part B, would the force be any different if the woman clapped her hands together at the same speed and brought them to rest in the same time? No. Newton's third law.